we're trying to do is solve every facet of charging for okay. people. And we've taken care of workplace, home, apartments and condominiums, DC fast charging at, at sort of an intermediate level. But the last thing to be solved is getting people on a long trip to spend as little time as possible. Right. So we get it as close to gasoline as possible for a long trip. But so, charge points are in the J2 technology is what, 60 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour? You can get uh, on that particular technology, you can get about 20 to 25 miles an hour okay. of range recovered for your car. But for fast chargers, there's kind of something that has that J2 in the middle and a couple oh. of extra pins for super high speed energy into your car. Gotcha. How fast does that go? So. Um, at its peak rates for cars that aren't even on the market yet, we're going to be not able, on the market yet. Yeah, they're almost there, but they're not quite. We're going to be able to put 250 miles of range in the car in 10 minutes. 250. Yeah. So right now I have the Tesla. I go to the supercharger network. I get about 150, 200 miles per hour. Correct. Um, so right now the charge point technology in the existing cars, which I guess are Leafs. What yeah. do you see, Leafs, and what else? You see a lot of stuff. I mean, you see all the Tesla stuff. You see right. Leafs. You see Volts. You see the Chevy Bolt now. Great Chevy car Bolt or Volt? The Bolt. That's a. It's an all battery electric ah. car. They just. They just. That's like a what? hundred mile range. No, it's uh, two hundred and thirty eight miles. Oh wow! Okay, so range. comparable to a Model S. Yeah. Um, and that technology, all those cars were built with twenty mile per hour charging limits. So the car, you, even if you wanted to go faster at charge point, you can't go faster yeah, as a car. Not okay. Not entirely. So okay. if you look at the Chevy Bolt, right? That that can take on. Um, uh, that can go to uh, up to about 80 kilowatts, so about two thirds of what your Tesla can do. Oh, okay, so 100 okay. miles. Yeah, in that range, okay. in that range, right? And and you've got other cars that can take, like a Nissan Leaf. You can you can you can put you can put probably around uh, 50, 60 miles range in an hour in a Nissan. When Leaf. will these next generation cars come out? And what do you call the these new not J1772s? Well, they're already out with uh, the, the connector that makes you makes makes you able to plug in and get really fast energy. That's yeah. been standardized for a long time. Right. Okay. But the cars that can accept it. Okay, there's many that are already on the road, but there are the ones that are uh, really on the drawing board that are going to be amazing are uh, things things like um, what Nissan just announced with the 200 mile leaf that'll be able to take uh, a faster charge what you'll see is obviously Tesla moving up the ranks yeah you'll see Tesla's gonna kind of match this whatever 250 in 10 minutes thing oh I mean they're yeah. they're, they're a technology leader in the space right they haven't announced anything but I would I, I don't know any more than you do there because yeah. they're obviously not going to pre-announce it but they've done yeah. a great job to date I fully expect them yeah. to be at the at the, at the head so of the you're, pack. So people understand, you're not competitive with Tesla because I'm a Tesla owner, I use your product. Right. Because the superchargers are only outside of cities. They're in between cities, the superchargers, right. generally speaking. Right. They're not meant for day to day. No. But when I go to Sequoia Capital's headquarters, they have a charge point. When I go to Tahoe, there's charge points. So you're complimentary with Tesla. Yeah, so what we're trying to do is, is put the right charger in the right spot for the right application. If you're going to be parked for an hour, yeah. you don't want to, you don't want something that's going to fill your car in 10 minutes because right. that's sort of a waste. You'd want to share the electrical capacity among more parking spaces right. instead of concentrating it into one or two spaces and then having the car be full and tie it up. Let me take a moment to thank at Squarespace for first of all making amazing software. I was just working on uh, one of the new projects I'm working on. You may have heard of <coughs> television show. Um, and we had to make a website, and I, boom, I just went on to Google Domains, and I was buying a domain over at Google Domains, and boom, you could just, when you're setting up your Gmail, fire up and launch Squarespace. I guess they're partners now. And I was able to fire up a gorgeous website in literally minutes, and it looked like we spent $25,000 making it. It looks professional. It's intuitive and easy to use. No coding is required. And they use state-of-the-art tech. It's super secure. It's super stable, and it's trusted by millions some of the most respected brands in the world. We, in fact, use it for all of our events and conferences. And you can start your free trial today. No credit card is required. And you'll get a free domain name if you sign up for a year. I'm an idiot. I did it wrong. I signed up at the wrong domain place. I didn't know that you've, I would get a free domain. I got to go back and uh, do that next time. If you decide to sign up for Squarespace, if you do decide that you're going to sign up for Squarespace, which I'm sure you will, just use the promo code TWIST and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. It is an amazing, amazing product. It's super easy to use and they keep adding features to it, which is one of the great things about the software as a service movement. They keep getting more people loyal to the product. They keep uh, being able to hire more product managers, developers, and researchers to figure out what to make next. And boom, they make amazing product and they keep the price the same. 
So things are getting better and better over there at Squarespace. I love the product. Go ahead and follow at Squarespace. Squarespace.